Damn, son. You're looking very fine. Hey, yeah, cool. Nice. I'll just do the same to his buddies now. I feel like it uses less paint as well. I mean, I will probably give it a second layer, but still. Give them another quick coat in the crag. There we go, looking good. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Cool. It's a slight difference, but it is a difference. Get in there a bit. Nice. Cool. So next to these guys, I'm actually going to continue the dry brushing that I'm going to start putting on. I'm just going to do the highlights. I'm going to dry brush on the Calgar Blue. I'm going to see what happens if I Calgar Blue and then add any recess shading that may or may not be needed. I'm just curious to see how it looks. So let's jump in. I'm going to be somewhat light and selective about the direction and how hard I scrape. There we go, it's looking good. Nice. Alright, cool. It's looking really good. I like it a lot. A little bit more intense on the tops there. There we go. Excellent. Cool. Also really serves to highlight the various pock marks on him. Excellent. I like it. Right then, let's do it to the next guy. Do, 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 do. Them fingies. So many people dislike the kind of uneven, grimy look that this creates when I just dry brush without using a texture palette or anything, but I really like it personally. It adds grunge and depth to it, in my opinion. Mold lines, man. My most hated foe. Looking good. One of these days, I want to try dry brushing like a harder highlight, like Fenrisian Grey, but I'm just really worried that I'll absolutely mess it up. <laughs> nice. Well, I remember these guys have uh, blue helmets, so I can kind of highlight there as well. There we are. All right, cool. Yes, he's looking very, very good. I like it. Excellent. Now for number three. Nice. It really makes those gashes stand out. Lovely. Tell the world we got a badass over here. Ooh, yeah. Get them thingies. There we go. Whoops, went a little heavy there on the side. Never mind. Yeah, the mold lines I did alright on this one. For some reason, the other ones I did an abysmal job. Oh well. Extra hard on the tops. There we go. Excellent. Very nice. I like it. Next on the list, we're going to get on with brushing all these up to Macrag Blue. I'm going to try dry brushing them as well and see how it goes. But if it doesn't look so good, then I'll just do a normal paint over. Right. Let's get cracking, there's a lot to do. Oh, alright, looks like that rocket pod is our first our first candidate. Get you there, stick. Do 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 do. There's some serious black bits in there I just can't seem to get rid of. Oh well. Excellent. Nice. That's one of many. You know, I'm just gonna do all the rocket pods just while I have my rocket pot. Pot? Rocket pot head. My rocket pod head on. There we go. I've also concluded I had nothing on my brush that whole time, so we're going to have to add some paint to my brush, aren't we, kids? Gosh, I do love being intelligent. In my dreams. Cool. Flip you over. Very nice. And there we go. Nice. Now, you know something I forgot to do? I didn't drill out these barrels. Yeah, I didn't drill out these barrels. So, it's what I'm going to do right now. I know it's going to break the seal, but, you know... It's too annoying to ignore. Too annoying. Let's get all of these out. And then we can get that rolling. Got my drill bits. Way too big. Also way too big. One of these ones looks promising. This one, I think this is the one. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so with that, banging out my trusty spike. Let's mark the points. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't remember to do this before priming, but eh. That's just part of the adventure when it's me. Incredible forgetfulness. Yeah. Very nice. Don't often spike myself, but I did that time. Ouchie. There you go. All right, that's all these fine fellows poked. Now it's time to begin the drilling. Get a grip. There you go. Nice. I was wondering if that was a bit of a big one. Split that one open, alas. Alas. You know, guys, I'm thinking of buying the bullet and not drilling out these barrels. Just going to leave them as is, I think. I said it, and I immediately was like, no, you're not leaving it. You silly boy. What I am doing, however, is changing my bit, making it a smaller one. Let's have a little look what we got. Well, we have a Nurgle invasion. Here we go. This looks like this should do the trick. It didn't need to be much smaller. 
Hello, Nurgle. Well, Merlin. Everyone thinks you're actually called Nurgle. But no, you're called Merlin. You just happen to be a great unclean one, who I nickname Nurgle. Nurgle. What is wrong with my talking today? What do you want, anyway? Why are you here? You purring so crazy. You crazy purring. There we go. You're blocking all my light. Get out of here. Go on. Uh, he's a good boy. But God, he gets in the way. I really am breaking the seal. It's a real shame. Never mind. What are you doing back here? I thought you left. Why can't I drill this one straight for some reason? Yes, what do you want, sir? Beans, that's two. Why are you sitting on them? They're not eggs. Sitting on them like they might hatch. Hatch into mini merlins. I'm getting covered in cat hair. <laughs> All the while the cat's nudging me for attention. Hello, you. Right, we're going to have to spend a moment, aren't we? Hello. Don't you eat those. Bit off to the side, but still. That's the last one. Good. And obviously the flamethrower ones, they don't have anything to drill, so hooray. Put this away. Alright, so now with that I'm going to dry brush the uh, hand part of the gauntlet and this base bit here that attaches to the backpack. I'm going to leave the chain to be silvered, of course. So love it, it's down there. Yeah, I'm going to leave the chain to be silvered and yeah, All right, let's roll. It's brushing, brushing. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Now we'll do this bit here. And it's time to just get into that crevasse. Right there. There we go. Alright, cool. Now let's jump to getting all the others done, shall we? Do, 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 do. Feels dead dirty doing it this way. Like it's too easy. And I'm eager to see what the final product looks like. Because I go by end results. If it's an easy way that happens to get the best results, then so be it. I'm taking the easy way. There we go. Lovely. That's all the blue on the gauntlet's done. The Storm Bolter gauntlets, anyway. Now, come here. Yeah. Now I've got to do the same for the Flame Storm gauntlets. Let's roll. It's getting hot in here. I'm confused. Why is this so shiny? Huh, that's really weird. My dry brush just suddenly got wet out of nowhere. How very bizarre. Cat hair all over it. Try and get in them nooks, them grannies. Yo, we go. Nice. Right. And what's cool is I've now got the paints to do the proper flame a burn look. So I'm looking forward to doing that down the line. Make it look very, very, very hot. Hot and spicy. And all things nicey. My fingers are looking so sad because they're blue. Get it? Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Get this last one done. And there we go. Excellent. Hair over there. Come on. There we are. Alright, now all these bits have had their blues blued in. So what I'm going to do now is continue adding blues. We're going to, of course, highlight them with the old Calgar blue and see how it looks. Should be nice and straightforward. Let's do this. There we go. It's a little bit heavy on the front there, but oh well. Do the back here. Nice. Cool. Good. Despite being a bit heavy at the front, it does look really good. Nice. Let's see how it looks on the old flamer. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right then. Let's crack on with the others. I think that went on really way too heavy. Come on, that, that's much better. Oh well, there's just going to be the one very bright flame storm gauntlet. Here we go. Right. Now the rockets. Crack on. Very good. Excellent. I'm going to go back to the first one actually and give it another. Can you go again over the first one? There we go, that's better. And the last one. Nice. Cool. Right, that's all these bits with their blues done and whatnot. Let's quickly stick them onto their lads, shall we? Let's make sure they fit nice. I'll we'll try and remember which goes to which lad. Thankfully, the short flamers are easy enough. Cool. That's the flamers. They match up pretty nice. Suits them rather well. Excellent. Good. That's what I like to see. Right, now let's just try with uh, the bolter gauntlets. I'm going to have to write, like, inside there which one they belong to just to make my life easier. That's what a smart person would do. A bit like a puzzle game trying to find out which one it belongs to. There we go. Of course, there's the missiles. Not going to bother blue tacking just for the demonstration. And again, the, uh, the paint is kind of helping them stay on. That is looking phantasmagorical. And yes, indeed, the shading, well, the highlight, sorry, also works very well with these, too. Magnifique. Let's walk them around. There we go, that looks more appealing. Excellent. Yes. Lads, edges are highlighted. Alright then, and with that first preliminary bit of highlighting done and whatnot, which looks rather cool, I think, it's time to start adding other layers to them. And I think we're going to start with adding black, 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 back into places where it should be, such as in the joints of the knees and elbows and whatnot. Right. Let us get rolling. Let's disarm them all real quick. The beauty of them being painted is that the weapons grip them better now, so it sticks on even better. Which is good. 
Add it on black to the wet palette. All right then, here we go. It'll be fun to have this darn hose in the way. And my brush is already splitting, great. Come on, stop that. Wow, it's splitting in many directions. I need to sort that. Okay, I'm gonna use a different brush for now because <laughs> this one's just not wanting to play today. Here we go. This one seems to be working. Get it right there in that joint. Space Marine joints. Randomly makes me wonder, do any Space Marines outside the Emperor's children smoke joints? The Drug Marines. Walking right in there. Blech. So hard to see. There we go. I think that's right. Do 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 do. There we go. So he's got a bit of black just under his arm, I think. Not much at all. Literally just like that. Nice. Bit on the back though. There we go. Okay, now where else is black on these guys? You know, there isn't like the hoses or anything. I'm pretty sure the hoses are black, but any like hidden away bits. I think it is just the joints. Actually, no, I think these are silver, but I am going to paint them completely black anyway, just so that way the joints of them will be black and the rest of these big river bits will be silver. Do 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 do. Yeah, now I'll do the other one. Hopefully I demold lined it sufficiently. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, you can see it bit there on the back of the leg and it's ah, it is painful. It's very very painful. But it is a lesson to my future self. Careful around that edge. Very very careful. There we are. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to go with the gut feeling that the inside of the ceramite would be silver or something, but would it be black? I don't really know. Let's get this other guy's stuff done. Oh, and of course that Space Marine booty. See, this is definitely one of the good things about painting black Templars, for instance. You just dunk them in a pot of black paint and then just a few, you know, edges and then you're good. I'm sure I've just offended every black Templar painter out there but and I just remembered that the majority of my Discord members are Black Templar painters, so well, I'm going to get skinned alive when I'm next there. But ah well, it's funny. Oh he actually has a bit of elbow here. So far I'm doing this with very little if any spills and it feels weird. I feel there's something odd going on here. Some kind of blessing maybe. Nice. Nice. Just his buddy now. And I hope you guys appreciate that I'm painting while staving off a great unclean one who is lurking just off camera, very eager to snatch up this guy's comrades. And I have to occasionally just go, yeah, and just point a finger at him. Like a spear of a custody is my finger right now. Only way more intimidating in my dreams. How am I doing this with such precision? What is happening right now? I'm not willing to accept that I'm getting better. That is. It is not possible, because the moment I do, everything goes wrong. Nice, okay. Now I'll just get this plumbing on the back of his legs and then we're all good. I'm so nearly done, but I'm nearly out of black in my wet palette as well. I don't want to top up. I want to do it in one fell swoop. There we go. Very nice. One thing that has just occurred to me, actually. Do they not have black inside their hands at all? I mean, they're still kind of black inside their hands. So I didn't dry brush over that. Yeah, okay, we're, we're all good, we're all good. Nice. You know what has just occurred to me? Applying decals to all this is going to be a nightmare. I probably should have thought of that, but never mind. I will find another way. Yeah, I think what we need to do now, really, is the gold, because they have quite a bit on them. They obviously have the edges of the pauldrons. They have the chest. They also have these doohickey things hanging around their, their, their schlongs. So, yeah, we are going to begin with that now. All right, where to begin? Probably the chest, because it's a bit more out the way. There we go. Now this guy's got this annoying chain around it, but still, that's still. It is silver, so I won't be going over that too much. I'm gonna move these lads, because as usual, focus, focus. There we are. Oh God, I opened the gates to the great unclean one. What brings you here, demon? Get your head out of my wet palette, you silly boy. Oh, you can get out of my wet palette. Making yourself at home? No, of course you are. Who am I kidding? Of course you're making yourself at home. A little bit of spill up there, but thankfully it's over a straight McCrag blue area. Right, you're gonna have to move. You are right in the way. Yeah, daft cat. Ever so daft. There we are. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's get all this bling in. I'm gonna add some decoloration to this flattened bit on the top, like burns and whatnot. But for now, it's getting the whole gold treatment. That ultramarine bling. Shwink. Ah, oh, lovely. That's the best part. Now the fun part is going to be trying to get that inside edge without getting, well, we're getting as little as possible on the pauldron face itself. So let's crack this. Let's see if we can't do this. Probably get a bit more on my brush. That might help. I've heard that paint helps when you paint. Could just be mad though. A little tiny bit there. 
overall so far succeeding succeeding nice tiny bit like not perfectly smooth but it's visible and it looks really good for it nice there we go. Excellent. I think the entirety of the face is gold, isn't it? Yeah, every, every little thing, even the wreath is gold, I think. That makes my life easier. Yes, yeah, went over onto the blue there. Never mind. These noodly bits. I'm sure that's their term, noodly bits. Give my brush a quick wash and add more gold thus. Nice. Overall, very, very pleased with that. I might, when I'm brave enough, add a dot of black inside the eyes. Or do I just paint gold in them? You know what? Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to paint gold in them. And then I'm going to, uh, like, maybe shove in a ton of Noln oil or something. Good. Yes, I'm pleased. Let's continue on. Nice. Edge. Schwink. Let's get more gold on for that schwink. Schwink. Lovely. I was thinking this one was done really quick, but then I remembered, oh yeah, it hasn't got the big skull on the side. I'm being silly. Oh, it's got a bit of gold. Back there on his neck. Never mind. God, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to get this? This edge. It's so ridiculous. There we are. A tiny bit of spill, but nothing crazy. Nothing to write home about. There's no denying it. I'm definitely becoming more precise, more steady with the brush. I guess that's just practice for you. Funny, isn't it? Practicing with something makes you better at it. What one word? That's crazy. Nice. All right, cool. Excellent. Now for his schlong box. I'm probably just going to do more or less the whole thing gold and then paint over the non-gold bits after the fact. Oh, he also has a gold knee, this guy, doesn't he? Because he's a fancy sergeant. There we go. Nice. And brush split. Darn it. Nice. There we go. Nice. Cool. Looking very blinging. I like it. 